As you can see from the diagram, a lot of stress is put on the body when a cricketer bowls a ball. It is scientifically proven that eight times your body weight is loaded through your back and legs at the landing point in a bowler's action. Here is a video in fast motion. The injury shin splints is very common in cricketers. As you can see from the diagram, the inflamed area is along the tibia bone. At first, there is an annoying aching feeling, but rapidly turns into a very painful sensation if the initial aching is left alone and not dealt with at an early state. If it is then ignored anymore, you may have to stop exercising full stop. Okay, now let's move on to the causes of shin splints. You can get shin splints from running. You can also get shin splints from running on hard surfaces and running up slopes. And having poorly fit in trainers and ones that don't support your feet. And also having tight calf muscles as well as a tight Achilles tendon. So what can we do to help shin splints? Here are a few things. It's time to throw those old trainers away, get some new ones and put some insoles in. Applying ice before and after exercise is very important. There is also no harm in admitting defeat and resting for a few weeks with your feet up. It is very important not to give up at the first hurdle with an injury like shin splints. Using these treatments and working hard to get back on your feet is a great way of getting over them. I hope this injury video on shin splints was helpful. Thanks, bye.